Hello, my name is Amy Froome, and I am Curator Art of the Islamic World at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. Today, I am taking over the High Museum's Instagram story for Ask Me Anything from Houston. So let's get started, and I thank you in advance for all your wonderful questions. I've been working with and teaching Islamic art for over 25 years now in three different countries, and saying this out loud makes me feel kind of old. I'm reading two books right now. One is the amazing book Jubilee by Margaret Walker, and the other is The White Road, A Journey into an Obsession by the artist Edmund DeWall about um, porcelain, um, specifically from Jingdezhen, China, uh, to Germany and around the world with this global fascination. This has to do with my blue and white ceramics exhibition here in Houston, and it's just, it's a fascinating read. I actually have two favorite things about being a curator. One is being able to work with amazing art every day. And the second is being able to work with incredible museum teams, um, especially in Houston and uh, with people who love and are as passionate about the art as I am. Preservation of art is a close conversation between museum curators and conservators. It's really at the core of our mission, preserving the works of art with which we are entrusted for future generations. So this means, for example, for light sensitive works like textiles, works on paper, carpets, we limit their exposure to light. So if they're on view for a temporary exhibition, they will go back to storage and rest first years before we bring them out on view again. For other works um, that might need stabilization, perhaps they have a tear or a chip or something missing, this is a close conversation we have with conservators who are trained um, advanced degrees in science and art restoration, and they're often artists themselves. And we decide how best to stabilize the piece that has lasted, for example, for centuries to make it last for centuries to come. We're truly the caretakers of these pieces, um, and we're just a step in the journey of this art. My favorite work in the exhibition. This is a really tough one because I have so many favorites. I love the King Umberto carpet. I love the lacquer mirror cover with the rose and nightingale bubul motif that is so evocative in Persian literature and art. I think probably my favorite work is this deceptively simple and quite extraordinary steel pair that was made in the Qajar period in the 19th century. The pair, um, for me, it recalls the, the Quran um, talking about paradise being a garden full of ripe fruits. Look at this pair, this extraordinary pair of steel and gold, so simple in this inherent contradiction, contradiction between permanence and impermanence, between absolute fineness in the every day-to-day -day world. And I just, I think this pair is extraordinary. Um, and it was also actually chosen while we had the exhibition on in Houston. It was featured in the New York Times, just an image of this, this pair. And I guess maybe also because it's winter and we're in the season of pears, it just reminds me of this delicious um, fruit and these extraordinary artisans who created steel fruits in the 19th century. Resources for bestowing beauty. Fabulous question. Um, there are plenty of resources online. There's the exhibition webpage, um, the YouTube channel that has my video lecture on there. I know that there will be an online course on bestowing beauty taught by Margaret Squires. That information is also on the exhibition webpage. There are blogs on the exhibition webpage. And we also have the, ca the catalog by Yale University Press that's available at the museum shop as well as other um, titles to explore more. So happy research. I actually have an exhibition on in Houston right now. It's called Between Sea and Sky, Blue and White Ceramics from Persia and Beyond. And it's on view at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston until the 31st of May. This exhibition actually looks 
Mr. Offshar's blue and white ceramics collection from the 8th, 9th century to the 17th century. And we expanded out to include uh, the museum's collections of blue and white ceramics from around the world. So it's this look at um, this global fascination with blue and white, but to refresh perspective, that of Persian blue and white ceramics, there's this fascinating trade. It's a really a two-way maritime overland route um, story between Iran and China starting in the 8th century, and it was the Persian cobalt um, that was actually used uh, first in the Chinese porcelain. And it's fascinating to look at the technical exchange, the material exchange, the design exchange. Um, and we're really having a good time with the exhibition and the online programming. So I hope that you can um, take advantage and, and see the exhibition in Houston and the online programming. I think it's a great compliment to the larger exhibition, Bestowing Beauty on View in Atlanta until the 18th of April. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful questions. Bestowing Beauty is on view at the High Museum in Atlanta until April 18th, and I really hope you have a chance to see it. If you're in Houston, Between Sea and Sky, Blue and White Ceramics from Persia and Beyond is on view at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston until May 31st. Thank you and be safe.